Benedict Dole. And um, yeah, we're really looking forward to have you here. Looking forward to have a bit of a chat with, with someone from the German team just to um, yeah, see mm -hmm. how things are for the German athletes here in Oberhof and for Benedict in particular in between competitions yesterday after the sprint, today uh, and today before the pursuit tomorrow. Um, first of all, how are you doing? How did you enjoy your day off today? today and how's it going? Uh, good, good evening. Um, yes, the day today was beautiful, of course. Um, sunshine. It was a little bit um, cold, but um, for doing some um, classic training, it was perfect. Um, in the morning, I went for some shooting. So because of yesterday, I was really... Um, disappointed from my standing shooting I had really good feeling but then four mistakes <laughs> it was I was really uh, really um, sad and so tomorrow I I went some for some shooting to get some good feeling again or back and yeah, so I enjoyed the beautiful weather lots of people joining in already saying hi how are you doing and um, greetings from all over the place basically thanks um, <laughs> I think the first question that someone asked was, um, someone says, hi, from Spain. <laughs> <laughs> and first question, basically, how did you get started in biathlon? And um, what, what made you pick up a rifle and also the skis? I never was a cross-country skier. So I directly started with doing biathlon with the age of seven. Mm -hmm. It was in my hometown in the Black Forest. So, and we went, there was one woman from our ski, cl um, ski um, club and she drove to two times the week um, for our shooting range and this is the way it started that's pretty cool uh someone's just asking right now what is your favorite type of race which one do or competition which one uh, do you prefer the most i think the sprint or the individual mm. so i really like to run by my own and so pursuit and must start i think it, it's getting better the last years but uh, sprint and individual is my most are my most favorite races. Is that something where you say that's maybe a mindset or also a personality thing? When you say maybe that there are people who prefer just running on their own as as workout, and there are others who say, oh, I need to have a team sport or competition okay. environment all the time. Uh, yes, um, I think there yeah the, there are some people who are a little bit stronger when they run together. They can um, pull or yeah they can. Um, look at the other athletes on the track and go behind and for me it's more that i can give the most my most or my best power when i'm, I'm running alone mm. i don't know why but running behind of somebody i don't like it some someone has already asked uh, here what is your favorite type of food and we've had a couple of food questions like <laughs> what is your what's your favorite self-cooked dish and can you just talk about what you like because you seem to be someone who's really um yeah involved in terms of just eating and cooking and all of that you've got a I think channel yeah. I think where you also had um a couple of guests on there who cook with you can you talk about yeah. that a bit yeah the, the blog is called Dolz Küche so my name and kitchen and yeah it's one of my hobby and for me it's really important of course for uh, uh, athletes doing sports as a professional um, the food is one of the most important thing um, to get uh, for the recovery and the regeneration after the race and for me there is not a special dish or something but um, it's really important that there are good ingredients so um, maybe a full corn and yeah the the maybe the um, gemüse Vegetable. The vegetables <laughs> are not um, cooked in water, only a little bit in, in steam made mm. and things like this. It's pretty cool. People have already asked, like, what is your favorite venue? What is your favorite um, place to compete? Is it maybe uh, is, is it one of the two German World Cup stages? Or someone asked, like, what are your expectations for Hochfilz and how do you like the tracks there? Um, yeah, my favorite venue is here in Oberhof. So I really like the tracks, of course, of the spectators. It's, it's something really special. Mm. And the shooting range, I like it really. But OK, yesterday <laughs> it was not, not so good. But yeah, I, I feel really safe and comfortable with the shooting range. Mm. 
and for Hofilsen, I've been there for two times, mm -hmm. but sometimes there was the, the track was diff um, different from now, and uh, I I really I cannot say it how much how good I am or how good I will be in Hofilsen. You said yesterday that you've also you talked before uh, before that about the competition yesterday that things didn't really go according to plan on the shooting range and what is like the the, the mindset after you miss a target? How do you approach trying to hit the next target? Yeah, I think um, you cannot think so much because it's really fast. You have about um, 1.5 seconds between every shoot and so you cannot talk <laughs> and cannot think um, a long story. But yeah, sometimes when you have, when you feel um, with, when you have some shaky legs or something, um, it will get harder and harder. And yes, there is a kind, you get a little bit nervous, mm -hmm. but um, in the mind, I think you cannot say or think so much. Um, overall, do you have a favorite bias late? in general like a favorite someone you looked up to maybe as an, an uh, idol yeah an when I when I started it was Ole Aina <laughs> because he was so strong and he for me it's a really um, a good athlete is for me that he makes on every race he may he tried to get give his best and he tried to make from maybe there is one day there's not a good shooting but mm. he tried to make a really good race out of it. Yep. Uh, any, how many languages do you speak? German? Um, English? German, English, and I had in school uh, three years French, mm -hmm. but... How much of that is left? <laughs> oh, really less. <laughs> so <laughs> I think I can say hello, goodbye, and sometimes I know what they, um, what they talk at the searing, mm -hmm. because uh, de à gauche, um, a trois. <laughs> <laughs> so you you know it, but uh, it's only uh, really uh, less. Um, in general, do you have anything like a favorite um, a favorite TV series or favorite singer or favorite band or something like that? <laughs> or is are you someone who is a jack of all trades who likes yeah. a little bit of everything? I think I for the music. I need to change from from every month or every week. I need to change the music. Mm. So for try, we are driving a lot of car. So listening um, six hours to the same kind of music, same genre, it's a little bit um, yeah boring. So <laughs> I change a lot between rock, electronic, and something like this. Uh, do you do you have friends in other? In, in teams from the other countries and who are they? If um, I think, um, of course, the, we talk the most with the people with the German language. So it's, I think it's a kind of, it's natural, but um, yeah, there are a lot of nice people. Um, we, are to, we have a lot of, with the German team, we are in the summer, we see at the training camps, we see a lot, uh, maybe uh, Andrei Rastoguyev, mm. So he's training every time he's training alone, and it's really funny to see him in the in the summer for training camps. Do you have a favorite memory in biathlon in general? Um, no. <laughs> Your favorite but, memory is still to come. <laughs> um, yeah, my favorite memory. <laughs> I I need to think a little bit. Yeah, I think it was in the in two thousand eight. Mm -hmm. It was at the World uh, Ch Youth World Championship in Rupolding. Okay. So it was the relay, and I shoot um, at the standing shooting um, zero mistakes without any extra shoot, and we got the m gold medal there. Mm -hmm. And so it was the first time with a li lot of um, spectators, and the first time in an international race to win a medal. It was really special. Uh Picking that up, do you have anyone or do you see anyone coming up from the junior ranks or from IBU Cup into the German team where you say, okay, this guy is really talented and watch out for him? Um, we had, yeah, this year we have, I think, two places in the World Cup, um, which, are, which, were, which are for the IBU Cup starters when they are good. So now we had Matthias Bischel and Florian Graf. 
Mm. And there's a third guy, it's called Matthias Dorfer. And I think these three guys, they are really um, talented. Okay, Florian Graf, I think he's not an unknown. Yeah. And for Matthias Bischel, he's all also, um, yeah, he run also now some World Cups. And yeah, and younger people, it's really difficult. So there are about five guys which are really strong, but um, yeah, it's a, I think it's a big step to get from the National Cup. to the IBU Cup and then from the IBU Cup to World Cup. So, um, and every time you need some races in this uh, league. So when you come to World Cup, nobody can expect that you are really good, really good at, at the World Cup. So you need some races to get in and know and feel how the, um, the other athletes in the World Cup run. Um, do you have it's any, complicated. It's, it, that's okay. That's okay. I think people know that getting climbing up the ladder in biathlon yeah. isn't easy. Um, do you have any uh, any explanation or what makes the German team unique compared to the other teams? Um, I think in our team we respect everybody other. Mm. So that's the reason why we there's never some um, uh, Streitigkeiten. Arguments, lots of, yeah, yeah, there are Conflict, some fights, conflicts, conflicts um, between everybody, and I think that's the reason why we work really good as a team, also with the uh, te technicians mm. and the trainers and the athletes, and maybe the guys from the from the um, from the national um, team. That's pretty cool. So I think that's the reason why we work really good together. Someone's asking, who's your roommate at the moment? Uh, at the moment, we stay at our um, barracks. Right here across uh, the yes. street, basically. Yeah. And there I'm training also in the summer. Mm -hmm. And that's why I have my own room there. All right. So at this moment, I stay a ho in my own room. Own room, But uh, normally, I'm staying with Simon Schemp. That's pretty cool. Mm -hmm. Someone's just saying that Dolce Küche is really amazing and that they've tried dishes and that they are delicious. So it's going <laughs> Thanks. pretty well. Thanks a lot. Yeah, <laughs> I'm doing it with my dad and he's a chef and so yeah he's really great creative finding new um, dishes mm. which are really um yeah good and healthy that's pretty cool someone's asked from denmark how would you explain biathlon to someone who has never watched biathlon who has never heard of biathlon what would you how would you start explaining it um i say why would someone yeah. do biathlon <laughs> I will start. Biathlon is not swimming and running and bicycle. <laughs> so that's a normal um, answer when they ah biathlon is it with the with the um, with the running and the swimming and bicycle? N no. So I explain it. Yeah, it's in the winter. It's skiing and shooting, and yeah, it's difficult to comp make the the combination between um, giving the best um, physical and make a good shooting mm. and if you um, how, know how to work it and make it perfect, you will win. That's pretty good. That's a pretty good way to, to answer it. Yeah. Um, someone's uh, also been asking what, about the food, obviously a lot of, uh, a lot of um, questions about the food in general. Um, what did you feel after the debut race in the World Cup and after your first podium in the World Cup? Um, yeah, it was Was, I think the first race it's not so special because mm. okay it's special from the, from the spe spectators but you feel okay you come to the World Cup and think okay maybe I'm not so bad and then you go into finish and the others are minutes faster <laughs> so it's not a really special feeling but for my wor first World Cup podium 
it was in Khantimansisk, so in the end of the winter. Yep. I think for me it was, of course, a really nice uh, um, finish or closing of the season. It's a pretty good way to go out. Someone's asking again, when did you start Python? I think you said seven? Yes, yeah, seven. seven. Right. Someone's asking, if you couldn't be a biathlete, what would be your dream job? What would you do? Um, be a chef or? No, I, I also I will not get a trainer mm. na at this moment. Right. So I'm studying marketing and sales. Okay. And I think maybe I will go for more for the economy. So maybe, of course, maybe a, a sports company or something like this. But so doing some marketing, being a little bit creative, doing some designs or like my blog, I did it by my own and mm -hmm. also my um, homepage. So th these are the, some kinds, doing something with the computer, with my camera, make some films. I really like it. That's pretty cool. Um, I saw that you've got a pretty interesting project going on in terms of your Diopter. Were yes. You, were you auctioning off the space on that? Can you talk about like what was the idea behind that? What, just to gain some visibility or some yeah we option? yeah the the place were free when we started in the season. Mm -hmm. So um, yeah, we was thinking okay, there's nobody or we we nobody left to ask, which uh, and then we said okay now we will um, make a bet on this place mm -hmm. and we decided and for me or for my hometown there is a yeah a verein a group, group yeah. uh, or some something like this a group who supports the younger athletes in my hometown mm -hmm. so i said okay i will um bet or i or auction it off auction it and i will spend a part of the money for the group to support mm. our younger athletes. Donate the donated for the young younger ones gr yes. uh, growing up. So I'm asking, how do you like reading? How often do you do it? And what's your favorite book? Uh, how much time do you have to read at the moment? Yeah, I some, normally we have a lot of time, but I don't like to read. <laughs> so yeah, I have to do a lot of on my um, computer mm. and PC. And so I, I don't have so much time to read in the end. Someone say, says, is it sometimes late to start with biathlon if you're a teenager? I think for, for, the, for the physicals, it's really, it's really important to start really early. Mm -hmm. But um, doing exactly biathlon, maybe you in, before you are a runner, yeah. And then to change to doing a biathlon, I think it's possible. I think but with the shooting, we see yeah. that there are like a number of, of athletes, I think particularly on the female yeah. side, who've switched so, over and now we've done yeah. really, really well. Yeah, from the, from the change country. from cross country to, um, from cross country to um, biathlon is really easy. Mm. Um, I think it's a little bit different running with a weapon on right. the back, but in the last time we see it worked really good. Um, in general, tomorrow you've got the pursuit coming up. Uh, how is it, or what is it like to have this day between two competitions? Do you start thinking about like what, what, or what prevails on your mind? The last competition or the next one? Uh, every time the next one. Mm. So in Germany we have a rule, <laughs> or in our team we have a rule, there's one hour after a bad race, mm. you can be um, uh, disappointed and a little bit angry, right. but after that you have to say, okay, um, I will, I will um, skip the race or leave it behind of, behind me, and then um, fight again and looking again for the next race. Do you have anything to say to your fans? Um, because I think we might wrap this up here at some point. Do you have anything to say to your fans and to the people watching? And yeah, just uh, I think, um, yeah. For me, biathlon is a lot of fun and it's a lot of, yeah, it's a part of my life. And I hope for you, um, all visitors and fans, I hope it's the same. And yeah, to be a part of the family is more important to only look um, what, which are the results in the end. So that's, for me, it's important. And I hope for you, fan, visitors also. also. 
Perfect. We thank you very, very much for your time and wish you best of luck for tomorrow's Pursuit competition. And someone say, please, we would love for you to shoot, to have a clean Pursuit shooting. So good luck, yeah. good luck tomorrow yeah. and all the best for the rest of the season, Benny. Okay. Thank you. Bye-bye. Thank you. Bye.